Little Red Riding Hood, press the space bar. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a small village with her mother and father. The little girl was loved by everyone who knew her. She was kind to animals and helped people in need. Her grandmother had given her a red velvet cape for her birthday. She liked it so much she wore it everywhere she went. That is why everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red's mother asked her to take some tea and cake to her grandmother. She was sick and had no one to take care of her. Little Red was happy to help her grandmother. First, she took out her paper and crayons and made a get well card. Dear Grandma, I am sorry you are sick. Get well soon. Love, Little Red. Next, she put the tea and cake into her basket. When she was ready to go, Little Red put on her red cape. Her mother told her to follow the path through the woods that leads straight to Grandma's house. She warned her not to talk to strangers along the way. Little Red promised that she would be careful. Just as Little Red entered the woods, she met a sly wolf. He had been watching her from behind a tree. She had never seen a wolf before and did not know how dangerous they were. The wolf seemed nice when he introduced himself. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. Good day to you, Mr. Wolf, replied Little Red. What brings you into the woods, asked the wolf. My grandmother is sick, so I am bringing her some tea and cake to make her feel better, replied Little Red. Where does your grandmother live, asked the wolf. She lives in a little cottage along this path. Surely you must know where it is, said Little Red. Pretending to be her friend, the wolf walked along the path with Little Red. He thought she would make a delicious meal. He planned to eat her, but the wolf was greedy and wanted to eat both Little Red and Grandma. The wolf came up with a plan. Little Red, why don't you go pick some wildflowers for your Grandma? I'm sure they would make her feel much better, said the wolf. Little Red thought it was a good idea and left the path to pick flowers. She had forgotten about the promise she made to stay on the path. While Little Red was picking flowers, the wolf ran straight to Grandma's cottage. The wolf knocked on the front door. Who is there? asked Grandma. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, lied the wolf. I have tea and cake for you. Open the door. Grandma replied, I am too sick to get out of bed. Get the key from under the mat and let yourself in. The sly wolf used the key and let himself in. When Grandma realized the wolf had tricked her, she jumped out of bed and locked herself in a closet. Grandma was so scared she fainted with fright. The wolf was angry he did not catch Grandma. He paced around the bedroom. Suddenly he had another idea to trick Little Red. The wolf put on Grandma's nightgown and cap that was laying on the bed. He was going to trick Little Red by pretending to be Grandma. Looking into the mirror, he noticed he still looked like a wolf. 
He found some makeup and tried to make himself look like Grandma. He closed the blinds and climbed into Grandma's bed. A short time later, Little Red Riding Hood arrived at Grandma's house. She was surprised when she saw the cottage door standing open. Little Red felt uneasy when she entered Grandma's house. She called out, Good morning, Grandma, but no one answered back. Little Red went into Grandma's bedroom and opened the blinds. There lay the wolf with the bed covers pulled up to his face. Oh, Grandmother, what big ears you have, said Little Red. All the better to hear you with, my child, answered the wolf. But, Grandmother, what big eyes you have, said Little Red. All the better to see you with, my dear, said the wolf. But, Grandmother, what big hands you have, said Little Red. All the better to hug you with, said the wolf. But, Grandmother, what big teeth you have, said Little Red. All the better to eat you with, said the wolf. Little Red was so frightened, she screamed, Ah! The wolf leaped out of the bed and chased Little Red out of the bedroom. As Little Red ran out of the cottage door, the wolf's nightgown snagged on the open latch. He got so tangled up in the nightgown, he could not move. Little Red ran as fast as she could run. She took the path that led straight back to her village. She saw her father, who was a woodcutter, chopping down a tree. Little Red told her father what had happened at Grandma's house. Her brave father went to Grandma's house and captured the wolf. Inside the cottage, Little Red and her father found Grandma hiding in her bedroom closet. They were glad everyone was safe and no one was hurt. Little Red, her father, and grandmother all celebrated the wolf being captured by having tea and cake. When she came back home, Little Red told her mother she was sorry that she did not keep her promise. She was supposed to stay on the path and not talk to strangers. By talking to the wolf about where she was going and who she was going to see, and what she was bringing, Little Red put Grandmother and herself in danger. From that day forward, Little Red was always careful not to talk to strangers when she went into the woods. 